Hey! Oh, 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 oh. 250 capital G. Y'all come on in. I got everything you need from live videos to skits to stories to journalism and much more. Kick back, relax, and bring your A game. Direction and serenity. Let's go. Guys, and there's so much that you guys are doing for the community, and you're pouring into these uh, young men. And so it's just like, what can make something transpire like this? It's just been a lot of trash talk, you know, from, you know what I'm saying, hit more so his side, just out of nowhere, just talking crazy to us for no reason. And it's like, it's not nothing new. Like, I've been around bro for five years, so mm -hmm. like, this typical Cam Newton behavior. But Steph, you was right there? Yeah, so oh, they you talking. You listening to the thing, so yeah, you yeah. heard him and you walked up. So Steph saying? walk up there. Oh, okay. What's yeah, as I'm know. walking up to Steph, Cam is in Steph's face. I made y'all responsible for everything y'all do, whatever. Then he grabs Steph. Okay. So me being my little brother and I'm walking up a flight of steps and I see a 6'6 six -six guy grabbing my brother. And that's the footage that everybody that's sees. That's what everybody's seeing. Okay. Like, so that was the first altercation yeah, that everybody nothing, saw. Nothing else right outside there. of him. Okay. Okay. Outside of him. Right. Right. Nobody's okay. seeing like how he was Look like Cam Newton got some explaining to do. Look like Cam Newton got some explaining to do. Yo, 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 Michael T. Porter. Welcome to the 250 Gemstones Culture Channel. This is a channel that represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. I got another bomb episode for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button. Pass me around, pass me around Facebook, Instagram, and all other social media platforms. And y'all know, yeah, I have to go check out my Spotify podcast, the 250 Gemstones Culture Podcast. The link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. We need to talk. Oh, don't forget the membership. Membership, join, join, join. Uploading videos frequently just for y'all, just for the members. Shout out to the members. Cam Newton is out here running his mouth again and i really think because he's six five six six he think he could just handle anybody so if you guys saw in that clip the guy said that cam newton ran up to uh steven and he told steven you ain't ish without me i made you i made this camp i'm sponsoring this camp so cam newton based on what i've seen he does a lot of flexing this man talks a lot, and the guy said he's been around Cam Newton for the last five years. So he's Cam Newton is just a, 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 a ish talker. He talks a lot of shit, right? But I'm not understanding how this thing ain't got no rings. One MVP. So that's all it takes for somebody to uh, uh, get that permission to talk mess everywhere they go. There's one MVP, no rings, no nothing. Well, if cam newton can run his mouth oh my god can y'all imagine what patrick mahomes have to say can y'all imagine <laughs> what tom brady is able to say if cam newton can run his mouth the way he does now if cam newton put his hands on this man first I, no, that's not that's i believe that's an assault harassment is either harassment or assault you can't put your hands on nobody that's the law of them white folks. Don't white folks said, nigga, keep your hands to yourself. Nigga, you got to keep your hands to yourself. They not playing. So I don't know how. I just honestly think they didn't press charges. They already got the squabble. But people have a short temper these days. Can I drop some gems? Can, can I drop some gems on y'all? Would y'all like my opinion? Would y'all like my opinion? Of course, you. that's why your ass is here. I'm going to give y'all some commentary and I'm going to drop some gems on this. Every Most people walking around here, this is hell on earth, right? So many people are walking around miserable. And most people, we have to face this demonic force. We call it the world and we do our best to put our uh, best foot forward. We're trying to do right by the kids, give them a brighter future. We're trying to do right by ourselves, make sure we're healthy, try to eat the best foods with with the budgets we have most people are poor on earth I'm talking about financially most people will never reach their dreams not because they're lazy not because of anything because most do like i said the world is demonic and if everyone was able to fulfill their dreams most people are positive in this world i believe but due to the 
due to the nature of the world, due to the environment, most people are uh, conditioned to think a certain way. If money wasn't an option, most people would do, be doing phenomenal things. We would be seeing people because they would have the time to do it. You would see people draw the most beautiful paintings. You would see people create some of the most beautiful music. I mean, absolute masterpiece. You'll be seeing so many more businesses opening up because people have such wonderful ideas, but we would never see it because of the established order made it that way. So people are under pressure. That's what I'm saying. People are under pressure. And the last day somebody wants to see somebody's flexing, a multimillionaire, 6'5", who hasn't won the Super Bowl, run their mouth to we're gonna say these guys are little guys they're not big um big names they're just trying to do something for the kids and the last thing somebody want to hear is you flexing talking about i made you you flexing your muscles this nigga do a lot of flexing and a lot of talking i'm like what have you won what have you won for you or what have you done maybe i don't know about his charities maybe this is one of his charities but you're at the, if you at one of these charities why are you talking like that? Did you come to this charity to flex or did you come to this charity or hosting this tournament so kids can have some insight of what it means to win? Now, you never won anything. I don't know why you running it, but I'm just saying that you're giving a uh, young man an idea of what it takes to win confidence, discipline, focus, determination, getting better every day studying the game asking for help being mentor i thought that was the reason why you doing this tournament thing if you sponsored it this i'm gonna stop saying nigga i'm trying to get uh monetized um this negro knows how to talk some talk some ish but y'all flood my comments what do y'all think about cam newton and these other coaches getting into it at a football tournament 250 Big G, I'm gone.